Well, anyone who's ever tried to book an intercity rail ticket will know how complex the system can be. I wonder if that robot could do it. A standard single from London to Leeds can cost anything between £9 and £111.50, depending on when you book and when you plan to travel. But the Wrexham and Shropshire train line has decided to abolish peak time fares. From March the 30th, a ret return ticket from London Marylebone to Shrewsbury will cost a flat £40 at any time of day. Well, Andy Hamilton is the chief executive of Wrexham and Shropshire, and he joins me now. Uh, Andy, I mean, <laughs> there's simplification and then there's this. The, the, the charge will be that you are making the customers who have been using the cheaper fares, who maybe depend on those, who are maybe the poorer people in society, uh, subsidise those who have been paying the higher fares, the commuters. Not at all. I think when you look at our new fare structure, there is still the opportunity to buy the very cheap advanced fares. If you're prepared and are able to say, I can travel on this day and on this specific train, those fares are still available via our website as normal. So it's this, not a flat rate. This, this is really about people who turn up on the day. For people who turn up on the day now, you might get charged one price if you travel at 9 o'clock in the morning, one price if you charge in the afternoon. And so it's really about saying, if you turn up on the day and you haven't got the ability to be able to pre-plan your journey, we're not going to fleece you because of the time of day you travel. Any time of day, any day of the week, you can travel with us and turn up and, on the day and you'll get the same fare. It's not really a flat rate then, is it? Well, it, it is a flat rate for, for people who want to turn up on the day. Uh, doesn't this lead to a position where, where you may end up having people who would have travelled a bit later because they could have got a cheaper fare, travelling on the commuter trains, which I don't know about yours, but mine's already pretty full? Possibly, but we're, we're not a commuter company as such. We're, we're doing more long-distance travel, so you haven't got the same pressures that you've got on some of the South East uh, uh, rail lines. But no, certainly, wh why shouldn't people be able to travel up to London and make a full day out rather than only being able to arrive late in the morning and only half, have a half a day out? And we're trying to make it fair for everybody and uh, give them all the opportunity. And is this revenue neutral or are you going to make some cash out of it? Uh, we expect if more people travel as we expect we hope that we'll gain out of it as well. So the passenger gains because they get cheaper travel and we gain because we get more people travelling. Okay. Andy Hamilton, thank you for joining us. Thank you. After the break, no more complicated difference in rail fares. Well, I'm sorry, we've just done that story so I'm going to leave it. Uh, Richard Curtis though...